In his speech responding to Budget 2024 in Parliament on Monday, February 26, Workers' Party head Mr. Pritam Singh said the WP supports the budget, characterizing it as not objectionable. However, the leader of the opposition called for greater openness on the part of the People's Action Party led government in achieving the goals of Forward Singapore. Mr. Singh noted that the PAP has asked for diverse views by asking opposition members for alternative proposals, to which the WP has responded sincerely. We have not been short of proposals that have ultimately been accepted by the government in some shape or form, albeit after initial and sometimes significant resistance. He said, specifically mentioning two items in this year's budget, temporary financial support scheme for unemployed workers and anti-discrimination legislation to better protect workers. Unlike PAP, WPE clearly stated these proposals in our election manifesto and our members of parliament have systematically and repeatedly raised these points along with others in parliament. He added. The leader of the opposition then elaborated on the five points that formed the basis of his response to the budget. First, the government needs to be more forthcoming with information so that Singaporeans can participate more actively in policy discussion. Second, there is a growing mismatch in Singapore between aspirations and reality, which must be addressed. Third, the government must improve retirement adequacy. Fourth, employers need to show more support for employees. And fifth, we must work towards further strengthening unity among Singaporeans in this uncertain world. In line with the first point, he reminded the House that the WP has called for a parliamentary budget office. Urging the PAP to disclose how the 40 million Singapore dollars allowed for forward Singapore policies will be deployed. He said this would enable Singaporeans to understand what PAP believes the social compact of the future requires. Just as PAP calls on WP to lay out its alternatives, surely PAP must lay out its proposals, too, he said. Fewer Singaporeans can comfortably spend on things beyond the basics. And many do not have sufficient emergency funds or savings to meet their families' needs. Just 40% of Singaporeans can afford to spend beyond the basics most of the time. Down 8% from 2022, and 23% can only afford the basics, while 79% of Singaporeans either do not have a retirement plan or are not on track with their retirement plans. This was a rise from 71% in 2022. Mr. Singh noted the $4,000 skills future credit in this year's budget but said that many courses cost more than this amount. He then called on the government to introduce an interest-free skills future education loan for facilitating skills training and helping Singaporean workers, which the WP had introduced in its general election 2020 manifesto. He ended his speech by saying, a Singapore with a contested and balanced parliamentary system, with a robust opposition presence, playing its role in making for a fair and inclusive society. And ultimately, what it does is that it makes us a better, more confident and an authentic Singapore.